The Tagliata beef steak is a really juicy main course. Just follow a few simple rules for a tender, juicy and perfectly cooked meat to the best of doneness. Tagliata beef with the cherry tomatoes and rocket. Are you ready to discover all its secrets with me? Let's start with the undisputed star of our recipe, the meat. This cut is en tricote. The meat must stay out of the fridge for at least an hour to go back to room temperature. I've already cut off the fat so we can slice it. From this beautiful piece I'll get four pieces of roughly four centimeters. I'll place the first two on the grill pan that I've heated at high temperature. Then I lower the temperature because the meat must cook at a medium-high temperature and now it must cook for about three minutes. You see, after three minutes the cooking has reached just above 1.5 cm so I can flip the slices. And now our meat must cook for another three or four minutes or in any case until the core has reached 53-54 degrees. So we need a thermometer. Perfect cooking, let's take the meat out of the grill pan and let it rest for a minute on the chopping board. This way the meat will rest, the juices will settle and the cooking will end. Now we simply have to turn the entrecote into a tagliata, which means sliced. Let's slice it across with a very sharp plain edge blade. This is the recommended donus for a cut that is tender and juicy. Obviously nothing prevents you from slightly extending cooking times if you prefer it well done. And now the tagliata is ready. I just have to take care of the plating. A nice slate serving plate, a bed of rocket, our tagliata, some cherry tomatoes that I cut in half for some in quarters. We are missing salt, pepper, and lastly a drizzle of oil. And my tagliata is ready. Finally, you too know all the secrets to cook a perfect beef tagliata. I'll link down below the photo recipe on Giallo Zafirano where you will find ingredients, measurements and the step-by-step -step procedure. If you liked this video, don't forget to leave a nice like. And if you have any questions, write them in the comments. If you haven't done it yet, run and subscribe to the channel to keep up with all the news. Did this recipe make you hungry? Cook it yourself and let me know.